Shout out to the homies. We're going. Sandstorm life. You heard? We're getting on like a sandstorm. Like a sandstorm, my G. Wigging on. <laughs> you ever see women when women got their hair like this? <laughs> Yo, when women got their hair like this, they thinking they pretty as fuck. <laughs> Yo, it's not your hair, bitch. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but I like you, though. Stop it. <laughs> so you trying to tell me when I threw this wig on, I felt different? <laughs> I don't know how you feel different. I felt like a regular ass nigga. Feel me? <laughs> That's what I felt like. You feel me? I feel like a regular dude. Y'all, y'all don't know the half right now. Y'all wanna say something, yo? For real, yo. On real, yo. Know y'all gangster niggas them that be out there doing your thing. I don't see none of you motherfuckers build up an apartment complex yet. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm an OG in this motherfucker. You gonna rob to get everything you want till you die? <laughs> Don't tell nobody your secret. Keep it to yourself, too smart. <laughs> the night topic is a fucked up topic. <laughs> All right. Tonight topic is about too smart. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> too smart really the man. <laughs> Too smart would pull out a five thousand dollar gun. You hear? I'm gonna rob a motherfucker for two hundred dollars. That's a too smart. <laughs> Freeze. Let me get you two hundred. <laughs> Stupid motherfuckers. I guess you got the gun, the nigga got to oblige. <laughs> got to comply with all the rules and the regulations about the lick. <laughs> but seriously, man, like all jokes aside, you gonna have Antigua police looking for you for $200 that you did on an arm robbery? I don't give a fuck if you got 5,000. You ain't got no money. <laughs> so even if you got $5,000, it's not worth Antigua police looking for you. The Allen is really, really small. <laughs> Too smart. <laughs> then on top of the reality of the fact that you're obliging and committing malignant and heinous acts in the community... You know, you're telling your friends, you're t discussing the elements of the crime with your friends. <laughs> oh shit, too smart. Now the police looking for you. Now tell me a story. When a nigga on the run from Brooklyn, he can go to the next side of Brooklyn, nobody see him because there's millions of people in the community. A nigga feel like going to Queens or the Bronx. He might go out there to Long or Staten Island. You feel me? Now you got a nigga in 108 square miles. <laughs> and he has decided to become a member of the Two Smart Foundation. 
No, once the niggas are part of it, <laughs> shh, I don't want to let out everything, but I'm going to let you know just a little snippet. You hear? Who raised you? Good Lord. Your mother know about you? Thank you. Your dad know you be robbing niggers? Good Lord. He's robbed himself a couple of niggers. He's a king in the robbery field. Thank you. So hold up. <coughs> Mr. Too Smart, first, let me address myself to you. My name is One Smart. That's my name. <laughs> now I'm addressing you, Mr. Too Smart. Mr. Too Smart, the average gun in Antigua costs about four to $5,000. You want a small gun like a 38 that run you around 1500 <laughs> So you niggas be having 9Xs and Glock 17s and Glock 18s and Glock 19s. You be having 1911s. You be having Colt 45. You be having 357 Magnum. You also be having 357 from the Browning family. outside see this shit crazy and I could open it up on you ah oh. turn it into a big volume now I'm searching for you in that wilderness good lord he's out there he needs he needs merciful grace father <laughs> hold up I'm not done here with you motherfucking too smart. Like I said, I'm one smart. And one smart is a regular dude that lives in the neighborhood. Too smart, they different. That too smart, extra smart. A too smart... A too smart. Let me tell you about a too smart. A too smart will come to your house and think your phone belongs to him. Thank you. That's a too smart. A too smart. We'll be walking down the road and see a car that's with the key and the ignition and be like, you know, that's my car. That's a too smart. A too smart will walk around with a $5,000 gun and be robbing niggas for $100. <laughs> Good Lord. A too smart. He have robbed a man for th for a hundred dollars. <laughs> um, <laughs> he should be the worst nigga in the robbery race. <laughs> look, I ain't trying to be stupid, right? But look, how you motherfuckers <laughs> walk around with these expensive guns? And robbing people for like $200. Like, yo, my man, cut it out, man. You do what you want. I don't care what you do. No, I do not do not work for the police. I'm talking to you from a gentleman perspective. From a real nigga perspective. Feel me? So... It's difficult to grasp the concept of a man having in his possession a $5,000 handgun and just go and stick somebody up randomly and get like two or $300. When, when you went home, what you thought about what you did? Like, 
imagine a young, you know, able-bodied male, black, you know, no matter the race or the color, just an able-bodied male. <clears throat> an able-bodied male, right? He can work for like maybe eight, nine hundred dollars over here easy. Bring home like four thousand a month. You're telling me you rather go buy a gun, committed a crime, risk your life, gain a little bit of resources, do it over and over again. Oh man, I don't know who you are, whoever people are. I'm not talking just in the antique. I'm talking beyond the shores of this country, man. That's some real serious shit in these times, man. So that's a tight bed to lay in right there. That shit got springs in it. I don't I can't lay in that type of bed, my nigga. With the marvel. But I'm saying too smart. One smart is asking you. If you could really consider, <laughs> because I really don't care, because I'm not really a part of anything. But I would truly would want to say, and I would have to say, that <clears throat> to go home with $200 in your pocket after a crime, then the police is looking for you. Then you got an armed robbery charges on your hand if they know who you are. Like, I don't care who you are. Even if I know who you are, I don't work with the police. I'm the wig of my nigga. I'm straight with it. I don't get on certain levels, my nigga. I ain't little Woody. You know, little Woody, that nigga that I be riding on niggas and they treat him like a celebrity. You know, that type of shit, man. I ain't into all of that, my nigga. The streets different out here. Blogging, vlogging is vlogging, but in the streets, it's different. Well, no matter where you at, Antigua, you could be in um, Switzerland, you could be in France. Wherever you at, man, it's the same. Everybody out for money, man, for real. If you leave yourself out there like a clown, I'm saying niggas gonna run down on you. Huh? So check this out. You don't have to do a change <laughs> because I don't care. But this is the most significant part of the vlog where I really wanted to touch basis on. Please, I'm your homie. I'm one of your special loved ones. And I'm essentially requesting a favor from you to ask you a very particular question because it's either a yes or a no. <clears throat> I don't care what your decision is. Other people is there to get options from. If you know you are not, you're a gunman and your other gunman friends them are looking for you to kill you, yo, can you please sign your girl over to me? Please, you know you out there. You know anything alive better happen. Some of y'all niggas beefing with niggas that's the worst type, they definitely gonna kill you. So, I mean, can you sign over your girl to me, my man? I just wanna fuck a little bit more. Ha 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 ha. Ah, slow motion. Donkey, way down. Ah, ground floor. Ah, excavator. Oh, ah. Way down in the hole. Ah. Yo, give me a girl, nigga, you stupid ass. You gonna be in your grave while some clown fucking your chick, my man? And you got your homie right here. I mean, we ain't homies then, cause you ain't trying to sign over nothing to me. I don't care what you do. You can sign over her flesh. I don't want her a anus. If you know, <clears throat> your other gunman friends that are looking for you. And you know you're on the verge of dying and I'm your boy. I don't know you niggas, but if you niggas know me and I'm fly with you, because I know a lot of niggas, but I don't know who be doing what. But in the case of the event, you make the necessary preparations 
for someone decent to enter into the canal of your girl, transferring it into the status of a canyon. It's your boy, Miss Wig. Who raised you? Who raised you? Me just want access to Cheval. You hear? I'm Lone Ranger. Concrete cowboy. Ash for a cowboy. I'm on it like white on rice. San. Sign over your girl to me. Look, I love you as a family member, whoever you may be. Like I said, you could put her asshole on reserve for your best friend. If you married and you know you're on the verge of dying soon, sign over your girl vaginal cavity to me. See, I'm a friendly type of nigga. I don't want her anus. She can have that part. You hit. Who raised you? Good Lord. Hold up. I'm about to hold you out of fuck all I just want her oral and her vaginal cavity. Is women out here thinking men money don't have no value. But my money don't have no value if it doesn't have no value to you. So that's really something that you projected. But me personally, I got resources. I have a purpose for it. Sign over your porky to me. You hear? Who raised you, brother? Sign over her fleshed organ to me. Let me ride down like a on that like that like that cowboy, that low ranger. Let me run down on it. Let me do my thing. Let me express myself. Let me anticipate how the anaconda is going to roam through the area. I'm picking up frequency for more room. You hear? And ro more room will be met down in the belly. So you, all you tough niggas, I respect you. And this is not only for niggas that's on the verge of dying. If you know you out here and police looking for you, sign over your girl to me. I got a plan for her. Don't worry. I'll get you commissary all the time. I'll get you some commissary. You don't worry about that. Sign over her stomach to me. Good Lord, who raised you, brother? You're frightening. You're such a disastrous person. Good Lord. You have Neanderthalic tendency. You're in a Neanderthal. A fucking caveman. Who raised you? I hear gal belly me while I raise the fuck all. Me, Mr. Plate, a.k.a. the Wigger, a.k.a. Shaitan, and me wash your belly. Sacrifice it to the, the Anaconda gods. You think it's a joke out here, boy? You out here doing your thing, and you know you're going to reach a failure point? I'm here to help you. I'm your boy. Show love. Sign over her flesh to me. Sign over your baton hole for, for your best friend. That's it. And all them keep shorties you got on the side, I don't want them. I want your man. Fuck them. Probably beating them already. So I want your main shorty. Sign over your belly to the wigger. Look, today's a Monday night, and I'm wigging on like a sandstorm. I'm out there in the country. Don't worry about me where I'm at right now. But what I do want to say to you, brother, it's a cold world out here. Just don't pick up yourself and go to jail or go dying. Please, sign she over your fuck all. Bang, when you will gee. Bang, panny nerves. Nah, ha, nah. Till my get in. You hear? I got the cold. Lord. Race you, brother. Way down. Ha. Ah. In your belly. Ah. Install. Ah. Way down in your belly. Ah. It's extract. Ha. 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 Hi. Hi. Full pressure. Ha. Ha. 
<laughs> Way down in the belly. Ah, sign over your girl to me. You hear? If you know you're on the verge of dying or going to jail, I'll work with you. I'll send you your commissary. I would destroy what you have, brother. Good Lord. 